In this video, we learn how to create these unique monoprints, which are basically layers of colorful background, some text and images. And we will print them using a gel plate and acrylic paints. So we'll begin by creating this colorful background. That will function as the backdrop for our images. For this process, we are going to use a gel printing plate. You can get something like 8x10 gel press. You can also make your own printing plate from gelatin. It's nice because you can make them at any size or shape you want. For the background, we're going to use inexpensive craft paints. And this one by Amsterdam for the background text. And then the black one we will use for the image. Next we need a brayer. And if you have another one it will come in handy too. We'll need some objects to make impressions in the paint like stamps and stencils. And here I've got a few magazine pages and for now I'm just going to use the text. And also some text I printed with my uh, laser printer. And I'm going to use this image, which is an original photo I printed with my laser printer. You can use any paper you like. Maybe something like this Fabriano drawing and sketching paper. Or maybe printmaking paper. There are also various uh, watercolor papers which are great to use for this process. So let's begin by spreading a couple of different paints on the gel plate. some impressions in the paints with stencils or stamps or any other objects you have around the house. Now randomly pull the paint into the paper and if you have too much paint you can use another uh, paper. Make uh, two backgrounds. Now let's add some blue. I'm going to use burnt sienna for the text. And simply we're gonna press down the text onto the paint. As you can see, to save some uh, paper, I printed on both uh, sides. Now let's pull the text onto the background we made before. Make sure to press down with a clean brayer. Now I'm gonna use burnt amber for the other text. And the text I'll use this time will be from a magazine page. So now let's print our image. And like I mentioned before, I'm going to use black. Thank you. 
And now let's pull our image into the background we made before. Okay, I like it at this point, but I would like to add some final touches. And now I'm just using the other background to clean up the plate. And finally, I'm going to add some more text from a magazine page. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in my books and classes, check out the links below and don't forget to subscribe.